I was on a podcast last week and we were talking about just making more money as a filmmaker and one of those ways was by creating your own video production company which I obviously cover on this channel all the time and just a couple of days ago I made a video talking specifically about that and making more money as a filmmaker. But the host did ask me a very specific question that I think is very interesting and I wanted to go a little bit deeper into it. And he said, what's the difference between freelancing and running a video production company, right? Because a lot of people may be freelancing under a video production company name, but they're not truly running a video production company. So I came up with three different points that I did not cover in the podcast to dive deeper on that topic so you, co you could completely understand the difference between working full-time as a freelance filmmaker or creating and running your own video production company and the cons and pros to both. The first big difference between freelancing and running your own video production company is related to leverage. So as a freelancer where someone calls and hires you, they typically expect you personally to show up and do that job. It could be as a one-man band where you're doing everything or they may hire for a very specific job like a grip or DP for example. When I get a call from a producer, if I was a freelancer, that producer is calling me specifically and I have to go do that job, right? But as a video production company, this is where that big difference comes into play. Because when someone calls to hire my video production company, they don't always expect me to be even involved in that job, right? Because basically they know I have a team, I'm a company, not a one person operation. Even if I have no one on staff, I could still have resources in my freelance pool and I could send those people to do that job. So this is the big thing about leverage. You're leveraging other people's time so you can make more money. It's really as simple as that. As a freelancer, you could only make as much money as you can based on your time that is available, right? So whatever your rate is, times the hours you work, that is the maximum amount of money you could make. But as a video production company, because it's not specifically tied to your time, you could basically send out multiple crews in the same day. That's not something you could do on your own. And when companies hire me or my production company, they're not directly trying to hire me. I may choose to hire myself into the job. That gives me the permission to do that. Where when a producer calls me as a freelancer, I can't do that. They want me to go. If I send someone else, well, they might as well call that other person. So that's one of my favorite benefits of creating and running a video production company. That, that's why I talk about this all the time on this channel. Because as a freelancer, you will burn out because it's all on your shoulders. Everything relies on your time and your energy. Where as a video production company, you have the power to leverage other people's time as well. Now, the second big difference between being a freelancer and being a video production company owner is related to how flexible you are. And this basically means it's sort of related to the first point, but by flexibility, I mean you could actually do other things than work on specific projects as a company owner. As a freelancer, typically almost all your time, okay, more than 80% of your time is actually doing the work. It doesn't matter if you're shooting, you're editing, you're producing, all those things are basically tied to your time doing the actual work and getting paid for those hours. But with a video production company, because of the power of leverage, you're more flexible, right? So you don't have to do every project, meaning you could open up more of your time to actually build a real business that makes you more flexible with your time. So just a couple of weeks ago, we were out of town for about 10 days, and that whole time the production company still operated. I wasn't involved, right? I wasn't there, but I had things in place and people in place to take care of the projects that the clients needed taken care of, right? So by doing that, I could be doing something completely unrelated, I could be going on a trip, which as a freelancer is just not possible, right? If you do it, you not only lose that money that you just were going to make on that project, now you're out of town, you can't do it, right? They're hiring you specifically. But then the bigger problem is sometimes when you're out of town, you lose a project, they get someone else and they may not call you for the uh, next project. That is my biggest problem with the world of freelancing, is that you always feel like you can't detach because you're not flexible enough to detach, because you feel like the next project will just disappear if you don't constantly take on every single project, which leads to burnout, 
right? So it's either you burn out using that path of just taking everything that you can get, or you're struggling to get work anyway, which again, a lot of that comes into my next point with running a production company. And my third point is related to long-term value and what you're actually building. If you think about it, if you're freelancing, the moment you stop freelancing, let's say you get hurt. A few years ago, I hurt my back. I couldn't really work for months, right? But I had a company, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But as a freelancer, what ends up happening is if any one of those things happen, which in life things happen, you just can't work for a while, right? And when you can't work, basically everything you build up to that point just kind of ceases to exist. If you're lucky enough to come back from an injury, for example, you may be able to revive some clients that had to go a different direction, right, as a freelancer. But it's very, very difficult. So I've seen a lot of careers burn out or just kind of disappear because of that, because you just had a gap in your career because life got in the way and you couldn't revive it. But when you create your own video production company, what you do is you're building value over time, which kind of compounds and stacks on each other as the years go on, right? So what you end up doing is every time you get a client, as long as you do a good job and you retain that client, you've now stacked value to a company that could grow over time with every new client, right? So now, because you're building a team or you have a pool of freelancers that you could put into those jobs, if you step away, something that you built could still keep going. Whereas a freelancer, that's just impossible. The freelancer is you. You stop, everything stops. The video production company is a machine that can, if set up correctly, move after you stop. So you get leverage with other people's time. You get flexibility where you could actually walk away and work on the business or even do something else if you wanted to. And you also build value, which is one of my favorite things that I could build out long term. And then eventually, if you wanted to completely be hands off, that company still has some tangible value. You could have either someone else run it on the more passive side, and you could take a step back. And in some cases, you may even be able to run or sell your video production company to bigger production companies or even marketing agencies. So there's a lot of potential there with this path. And that's really the three differences when I think of the freelance career as a filmmaker or creating and running your video production company. So I hope you found that useful. In the next video, which I also have, is a sequence of three videos I wanted to put together. This is the second one. I have a video talking about the very specific marketing plan that basically took me from just being a freelance videographer and I was really struggling to creating my video production company, but the specific marketing plan I use, which I really haven't covered before, but I wanna give you the three-step marketing plan on exactly what to do once you create your video production company to land higher paying clients. And that whole process took me about six months, and I've really continued to build on that up to this point after 10 years of running my company. So I'm gonna share that with you in the next video. So make sure you check that out in a couple of days, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.